Hey there, everyone. Hope everyone is doing splendidly. I know I am. Because look at this monstrosity that I got. Oh my gosh, it's a new tank. Tank destroyer, to be exact. It is the SU-152. A Russian heavy tank destroyer that was used during World War II. And it's a fun little machine. As you can see, it has an enormous gun. A 100 and 52 millimeter gun, ML-20, and uh, it just does a whole heap load of damage. I mean, it, it's not very accurate, it's painfully slow to fire, and it takes a while to aim, but holy crap, when you hit with this thing, anything feels it. AP shells are better for lightly armed uh, armored tanks, high explosive shells are better for heavily armored tanks. Either way though, you do a whole lot of damage. Now, uh, quite understandably, uh, it's slow. It is rather large. It's not terribly slow, but it's definitely not fast. And it doesn't really turn very quickly either. So one thing this thing needs, considering it's slow and it has a highly reload time, is friends. You don't ever really want to be anywhere by yourself in this thing. So even though you're a horrific danger from the front, anywhere else you're just a target. And that's pretty much the way a lot of tank destroyers work. Uh, armor, 76 millimeters at the front. And there is a slope. It's not a big slope, but it's enough. Um, what you'll find is that the rather large mantlet will bounce a lot of shots, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, it's just fun to play. So, let's take it for a spin. Hopefully I can actually show off its uh, <laughs> better traits. Alright, so it looks like, uh, oh yeah, it's tier 7 by the way, looks like we're actually in a tier 8 match, as evidenced by the IS-3s and the T-34s and such. So, pretty much anything lower than us on the scale, we should use AP shot on, and anything higher than us, we should use high explosive shot on. Considering we're probably going to run into high explosive, considering we're in Sand River, or excuse me, we're going to run into heavy tanks because we're in Sand River. Uh, I, I do this after a long day of work, so please don't expect me to be overly eloquent. Uh, yeah, it should be good. Um, Alright, so I'm going to switch to high explosive shells as soon as the map starts. And then I'm going to find some place where I can sit and shoot at enemies. And let's see, we only have one artillery piece to worry about, so that's comforting. In terms of... Hmm, somebody's saying we go south. Yeah, that probably is a good idea to secure the southern flank. But then again, we already have people moving out in that direction. Um, yeah, I think maybe doing overwatch on the hill might be a good idea. I just have to make sure I get behind a rock so that I'm better protected from enemy fire that's going to be coming in. So, let's lumber on up there, see what we can see. driving off in that direction. You'll see AMX, we don't want to get spotted, so it's important that we keep moving. And that we hide. Yeah, they already got him, that's good. Alright, so, hmm, people have taken up position on the mountains up there to the north, which is good. It's a nice overwatch position. People can actually drive up those now with a nice new physics engine. Alright, they spotted an AMX up there, but they could probably handle it. Uh, so the question is, how are we going to contribute? Well, we could just kind of hang out here and wait for somebody to present a target. I do uh, like to keep moving, just in case there are scouts out there. Uh, and, uh, spotting for their artillery piece. The thing is, is that when you have a really big gun and you're a really big target like this, artillery loves you. And uh, it can be a real problem if you're not careful. Alright, there's nothing we can do for the people over there behind the mountain range. They're just going to have to fight their own battle. There are enemies uh, out in the desert there, but they are being engaged. Hmm. Looks like fighting in the desert is not going particularly well. So it looks like that is where we are going to be needed. The uh, center of the map over there in Foxtrot 5, where some of our friendlies are, really doesn't seem to be seeing very much attention. And it's not a good place for a TD to be, considering there's no easy way to withdraw and you can get flanked pretty easily. 
Alright, so let's lumber on up this direction and see if we can shoot our massive gun at uh, some of these enemies. There seems to be a destroyed tank here, which might be useful as cover. Do we have any targets? Not yet. We're starting to see targets now. Wow, there are a lot of enemies in that direction. Alright, well, I guess we'll just pick one. Looks like it's gonna be this one. Alright, and we missed. Which is really not that uncommon when we're fighting at these kinds of ranges. This is not a very accurate gun. But, uh, you know, when we do hit, they're, they're gonna notice. They're gonna notice big time. T-34 is a big target. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Hit. About over 20% damage. And he's a tier 8 heavy tank. So, I got their attention now. Alright, Jagdpanzer, that might be an easy target, although it's small. Eh, well, let's just give it a shot. And fire! Hit! Alright, 73%. <laughs> oh, that's the thing that's fun about this thing. It just does so much damage. I mean, it does, it's practically like an artillery piece and how long it takes to reload, but when you do hit, they take heed. Oh, oh, just over the top of the Type 59. Ammunition is not that expensive. I would have thought it would have been, but it's really not that bad. Alright, well, i give another shot at him. Oh, well, there's that him there. Oh, missed again. Alright, it looks like they're starting to advance on the base. There is a KV-1S that has actually moved into our ranks. But the enemy approaching from this direction is the bigger problem. Alright, he's using hull down. He is not, really. There we go. 23%. Super for Shane. Alright, so we're contributing. We're trying to push the flank. Ooh, that's artillery, undoubtedly. That, or maybe it might not be artillery. It might just be they're finally taking note of me over here. Be the case. Nope, miss. All right, we're kind of being put into a bad situation here. We might want to withdraw soon. Uh, he's using hull down. So is he. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. I don't know whether I hit or not. I'm gonna ask for help at this point. So really, I'm not fast enough to retreat. And yeah, here comes the Frenchie trying to make a move on me. Oh, I know what he's going for. He's gonna try to use this Doom, hop around from this direction, and flank the hell out of me. Oh, we're in a terrible position. Uh... Well, we gotta pick a direction. That's just what we have to do. Pick a direction and hide from another angle. Here comes that KV-1S. Yeah, there's the Frenchie. Is he gonna spot? No, he's gonna use his view to keep me sighted. And he won't pop out if he knows that uh, he can't. Oh, crap. Here they go. They're on the other side. Uh, I'm tracked using uh, that to fix my track. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Ooh, got another big hit, but they're going to take me out, no doubt about it. Yep. So, we provided a bit of a defense, contributed some damage, but unfortunately uh, our team just doesn't have to capitalize on it. And uh, as you can see there, um, it does work well, but as soon as you get isolated, you're not really fast enough to run away, and uh, things generally backfire from that point on. Now, as for whether this map could be recovered, I doubt it. I think I'm just going to pause the video here, and uh, maybe in the next match we'll have better luck. So, uh, I'll see you all again in just a bit. Okay, alright, in this match, uh, it looks like we are being put into another tier 8 match. 
Uh, this time we're a bit lower on the totem pole. Most of the equipment we're going to be running into uh, will have enough armor that it will probably bounce our armor penetrating shots unless we catch them from the flank. Now the thing is about this monster is that uh, it's not really very good for flanking so we're just going to have to... Um, I know a special spot on this map which is good for stopping enemies coming from the left flank and it also protects you from artillery for the most part as well. Alright, so let's switch to high explosive and move on to protect the courtyard in Foxtrot 1. Obviously having a repair kit to fix your tracks is a, a very important thing to have for this tank. And with any tank destroyer, really. Or if you can't point towards the enemy, then huh, you're done. Let's see. Uh, let's move over here. Is that AMXM4 taking a spot? Yep. Okay, he went to that spot too. Luckily, there are actually two uh, alleyways here. Or two um, alcoves. Not really sure how you could call this, but uh, you know, there's a way. He's, he's taking that one. I'm going to take this one over here. And uh, I'm just move into position. And if anyone pokes their head around that corner, especially down that way, they're going to get a face full of nastiness. And it looks like we already have a contender, which is another SU-152. Oh dear. Well, we know what we can do. Oh, there's an IS-3 as well. Alright, well, they're all good targets. Let's take a shot at this IS-3. Alright, maybe the SU-152. Boom! Another big hit on it. Alright. Just gotta be patient, move back when we're not firing. It doesn't take too long to aim, considering it's not like the aiming circle has to go down all that much. <laughs> Alright, I mean, there is someone spotting for us. And he took an early shot, he rushed it. Oh, 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 do I have a target? Do I have a target? Oh, he's trying to expose himself as little as possible. Hey, we got him! Alright. Took out another SU-152, not bad at all. Alright. So, left flank seems to be holding. Right flank, we have two people that are pushing into their territory. Good, maybe they can take out their artillery piece. Alright, so yeah. what we got here? We got anything good? Anything we want to shoot at? Uh, AMX M4 45, from what I understand, a pretty good French heavy, is uh, moving into position. Now, because their uh, enemies are coming from that angle, we can't shoot at them. This is really only for attacking people who come around that corner and uh, down that alleyway in uh, Echo 1. It's a protected position, but uh, as with any protected position, it limits your ability to attack. So we're going to have to take a more active role here, coming around and joining the M4. And I think I'm pretty much just going to tail him around, considering he's protection in case we get flanked. Oh crap, I just spot an artillery piece to the left. I think he's looking at me. I think he missed. We did not miss him. Alright, amazingly enough, it did not destroy him in one hit. I would have thought that it would. I guess it wasn't a direct hit. I think the M4 is going to get him. Yep. Alright, very good. Certainly did not want to get hit by that thing. Alright, well, we have uh, taken over the left flank. Done a good job there. left is a Type 59 and an M5 somewhere. Who knows where, but this has definitely proven uh, to be a decent match. Ah, there they are. Both spotted. Probably not fast enough that we're actually going to get to see action. But we got to kill this map, and we did a decent amount of damage. M5 is being cornered. Type 59 is being completely surrounded. That's the thing that is kind of funny, is 
While everyone appreciates being on a good team, sometimes the team is so good that it feels like you don't really make that much of a contribution. <laughs> Considering everyone else is doing such a good job. Ooh, we did get Master Gunner though, which is nice. Master Gunner scored at least five armor penetrating hits in a row against enemy vehicles. So, see our honor game, we got a little reward. Damaged artillery and uh, destroyed that one. Very nice. Let's see, how did other people do? Eh, we, everyone did really great. I mean, we did good, but there are a lot of people who did better, including this uh, Jagda Tiger 8.8 centimeter. I got a uh, sniper. So, that's cool. Very good. Let's try one more match. Take it out for a spin, see what we can do with this. It's from Russia with love, after all. Oh, okay, we're in a tier 7 match and we're ranked high tier, and we're in Himmelsdorf. This is very good in a number of ways. Well, first off, uh, any kind of dense city environment dense pro uh, provide a lot of protection against artillery. Well, that's obviously good for tank destroyers. Um, top of that, uh, we're higher tier, so most, almost all of these tanks, except for perhaps the Tiger or the Panther, uh, are going to be very vulnerable to our armor-piercing shells, which should be able to one-shot most of these tanks. The question is, do I go and protect the flag with a hangar in Bravo 2, or do I rush up the hill? I'm going to wait and see what other people do. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of people going up the hill. Alright, so I'm going to go for the base. We could go left here and try to stop flankers from coming up that alleyway, but it's... Again, remember <laughs> the rule of TDs, especially this one. Never go anywhere by yourself. Always make sure there's at least some ally nearby. I mean, that's obviously good advice for considering it's a team-based game uh, playing World of Tanks at all. But, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's that much more important when you're a support vehicle, like a tank destroyer or a self-propelled gun. Alright, so what do we got here? We got a T-34 moving up the scout, Panzer 3-4 moving over this way, and a Type 20... Holy crap, we got a VK coming in. Turn, turn, turn! 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 Oh! I tracked him. Glancing blow. He fixed rather quickly. Alright, we've got to deal with these uh, little scout tanks coming into flank. Alright, well, I think I'm going to focus on that one. If I can reload in time. I can't believe I tracked him again! Without actually getting the damaging hit. That's so crazy. Alright, he's not gonna penetrate us from the front. Oh, wow! He got a penetration, but it didn't actually do anything. Alright, he's just gonna run away. That's it's the smart thing to do. However, uh, yeah, we should. Oh, hmm. Well, we're kinda at a bit of a crossroads here. Oh, well, they took him out. AMX is over there. Definitely a danger. Maybe we can get a shot at him if he tries to move forward and go up the alleyway. I'm gonna stick with these tanks. They're not seem like they're rushing the flag right now, so... I'm just gonna stay by my uh, allies here. Try to provide a little cover. Oh, here we go. This AMX could be a problem. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh, crap, I'm stuck on the building here. On the building. Turn, turn, turn. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> I did. I am noting in the description this is, you know, let's fail at World of Tanks. You guys realize that, right? <laughs> Just in case you're confused. Alright, so what do we got over there on the cap? We got a Tiger. We got a VK 3002 DB. Hmm. We got a Type 29 and an SU-8 to help us out with that. We gotta break their cap. T-29 is already inside the hangar, so I think I'm gonna try to offer perhaps a flanking shot, especially now that I have mediums coming in to help, by driving up from this direction. 
seeing if I can poke around the corner and hit somebody with something big. Alright, he is hiding behind the building like the little scamp that he is. But I could cause trouble for the tiger. Alright, I'm gonna push. Feeling confident. I think we can do something here. Alright, so now he's running out of places to hide. Which is really bad for him. Alright, he's probably gonna try to risk a shot, maybe? Nope. Nope, he's just gonna try to hide. Which is just silly, because he's not really doing his team any favors doing this. might push him out of hiding. So, come on, push, push, push. Oop, we got a tiger, but we're protected. Oh crap, tiger knocks him out. Alright, we gotta be careful here. Gotta make it so we can rotate to face either threat quickly. The situation demands it. Alright, he's down to 1%. I see a bit of his rear. Got him! Alright. Wow, actually our attack at the hill seems to have completely collapsed. Really wasn't paying attention to that. That is a problem. So what we need to do is get rid of the threats that exist as quickly as we can. And that would include blowing up the tiger if possible. Nobody wants to pop out, huh? Wow, that was a bad idea, Tiger. And T-29 covers me there. Alright, so we are quickly turning this around. What we have to watch out for is artillery, which I just got hit with. Unfortunate reality here. Um, I have to worry about artillery, I have to worry about flankers. What we should do is stick with our buddies. The question is, where is that Panther? Where is the Dicker Max? What angle could our enemies come from? I think they might come from this direction. Considering they had seen them up there in uh, Alpha Zero, they might think they're going to get smart and try to come from... Uh... Ooh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Turn, turn, turn! Moment of truth here! Got him! Oh! Panther knocked out, but the M41 artillery got me. Alright, so... There's still hope here. I mean, uh, it's really all up to the T-29 and the SU-8. Oh, crap! The SU-8 has been spotted by the Dicker Max. Question is, can he go into TD mode and take care of him? Yes! He gets him! Awesome! Alright. Oh, but artillery gets him. So now it has boiled down to uh, T-29 versus uh, the artillery. And it looks like what the T-29 is going to do is hide and see if he can pick off any artillery, because they have to try to break his cap. Now, the thing with the Type uh, T-29 is has this absurdly armored turret. So, they, there are two of them, though. And they're both, yeah, Tier 5 artillery. So, odds are they're probably going to try to send one around the corner just to try to get a peek at him just to spot him, while the other takes a shot. Well, that's what they're gonna do if they're smart anyway. Either way, though, we got three kills, which is pretty good. We took out, uh, you know, tanks on the enemy team that were really causing a problem. Both the Tiger and the Panther had gotten three kills each, and, uh, we got them both. Oh, wow, did... come on, get him, get him, get him! Oh, oh, man, he didn't get a shot. Now, he has a bit of a problem here. Is the M41, which got me, and has three kills, is now going to be taking shots at him. And he's probably going to assume he's not going to move either, considering he's at least somewhat protected here. Yep, there goes the first shot. Yeah, he really needs to... Alright, so I am advising for him to move and attack the Artie and hunt them down. 
Uh, just because he's not going to win by cap. It's just not going to happen. I mean, all they have to do is one spots while the other shoots. Maybe this one's going to get hit. Or he'll just be one shot by the M41. Yep. Alright, well, victory was unfortunately denied because the artillery was smart enough to know what it was doing. Either way, though, our personal contribution was actually rather good. We got Master Gunner again and Sharpshooter. Hit an enemy vehicle ten or more times in a row without missing. So, we did fairly well, despite our uh, team completely blowing it. Um, I really would like to actually have a, a victory happen. <laughs> I did say let's fail at World of Tanks, and so far I feel like you know I'm living up to uh, <laughs> the video's uh, title so far. Um, let's just try one more match. All right, looks like we're going to be mid-tier this time in a tier eight match. Uh, let's see, what do we got on the enemy team? All right, everything SU-152 and below. Uh, AP shells, everything above that. Hmm. Well, no, a lot of these actually I could seriously damage with AP shells. It's gonna be a question of what I run into. Hmm. That's a bit troubling. Because, I mean, the difference is 135 pen for the AP, 86 for the HE. And that does make a considerable difference based off of what tanks we're seeing here. But because it's this map, Westfield, this actually gives me an idea, because I do remember seeing uh, a video of uh, the Mighty Jingles, so known as Bohemian Eagle, that's the title it goes for, on YouTube, uh, playing a tank destroyer on this map, and it looks like a good spot for them is over that way. And that kind of, uh, that hill, a bit of forest there, seems like a good place to try to get some cover. Hopefully we can lumber up there and actually get to it. It seems like we're in good company because a lot of our heavy tanks are also heading in that direction. It always helps to have them to uh, attract attention away from oneself. Well, let's just go with AP right now. Odds are we might run into some scouts. M6. Uh, we sh should be able to penetrate that from the front if we hit the right spot. The M6 is a surprisingly good tier 6 heavy tank. Um, a lot of people underestimate it. So, we obviously have to be somewhat careful here. Wow, we're actually already taking hits. T150, that's probably their Hummel artillery, although I'm not really certain. Shots. What's going on? Where's it coming from? AB1S? Alright, they're uh, just cresting over the hill here. Trying to get in free shots. Remember, never stop moving. Unless you're hidden. Tiger is pretty badly damaged. What I'm trying to do is get a shot at something. Like that. Boom! Oh! I think we actually bounced at the front of a KV-1S, that's sad. Alright, I'm switching to high explosive considering we are confronting heavy tanks from the front, and I won't do want to do damage. I mean, uh, armor penetrating shells are unfortunately all or nothing, typically, so... something you have to keep in mind. Alright. Come on, give me a target, guys. Just gotta learn, it's... TDs are a very different playstyle than the medium and heavy tanks I usually play. You have to be patient sometimes. Alright, here we go. Oh, 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 just over the crest of the hill. Not exposed long enough to actually take a shot. Seems like there's a lot of fighting going on inside the town. The thing is, is that if we get closer, we might get exposed to it. Hmm. It does look like the enemy is winning over there, too. Creates a problem. Mm. Oh, I just saw a tree fall to our right. That could be an issue. Alright. Okay, 
Okay, they're covering me against that M6, so I feel safe enough to progress to the right. Alright, KV-1S is rushing, he's just gonna get blown up. It's a very foolish decision on his part. I am trying to move around and flank him. Oh, hey, I found a Tiger P. And I missed. Crap. Alright, his reload is definitely faster than mine, so I need to back away and try to get a good angle. What is this M6 doing? Is he going around to try to flank? Yep, it looks like that's what he's doing, but we've got a Tiger P to worry about. And we miss again. Alright. We're gonna have to withdraw in this direction. The more he moves to come after us, the more exposed he will be. He's going to penetrate our front, but I'm going to be shooting at his turret, which means if I can hit that with an armor-piercing shell, he is going to be in for a world of hurt. And I am spotting for our friendlies, which is good. Alright, here we go. Let's give it a shot. Oh, big damage. Alright, now he's feeling it. Now he knows that uh, he needs to be a little bit more cautious. Got an M6 there to support us, and artillery finishes him off. Excellent. Alright, so how are things going on other fronts? Seems like we're kind of spread out right now. Maybe 4 and M6 are there. Who knows what's on the other side of the hill. Hummel is still active. Slowly and with caution. See if we can set up in a push over on the other side of the hill and ambush anybody coming around from this angle. Don't want to go towards the town because that'll kind of uh, expose our position. Alright, so the M6, yeah, they're going to be holding the town. That's good. While they are doing that, I'm going to try to be a very sneaky tank destroyer and move into their uh, position, see what I can do. Alright, I have a decent amount of bushes here. Alright, be quiet right now. Alright, I think I might try to find their artillery. The only question is, can I find it without getting blown up myself? That might be uh, trouble. inch forward. Hopefully I can just peek over the hill here, get a shot at something nice, and then back away. Trees do not make as good as cover as bushes. However, there are some bushes over here, which I think I'm going to park in. see anything. Alright, um, hmm. We seem to have broken our cardinal rule of never getting to be by yourself. This could create a number of problems for us. Can we actually take a shot at that T-34 over there? Well, it doesn't matter because our buddies already took care of it, so it's not a priority. question is, where are the enemies? There's two medium tanks over there. We don't have to worry about the mediums. Yagda Panther's probably moving in to support them. I think it's time we actually hunt down the Hummel. We're gonna have to move fast. He's gonna be around here somewhere, and as soon as he sees us, he's gonna try to take a shot at us. Yep, he's right there. Moment of truth. Oh, luckily he's not paying attention. Go, go, go! Fire! Got him! Alright. Now all that's left is a Type 59 and a Yagda Panther 2. Let's not get hasty here. I don't want to actually start capping. Just because uh, that'll give our position away. Alright, Type 59's back in our base, causing trouble. Yagda Panther 2, who knows where he is. Alright, it took out our Hummel. So now it's a question of you know, where is the enemy. Yagda Panther 2 is a Tier 8 tank destroyer. Probably very bouncy, so I'm gonna load high explosive shells. And 
let's see what we can do here. Alright, well, he's spotted. That's good. Question is, do we want to try to search for him, or do we want to try to cap? Hmm. Oh, okay, here comes the M6. Alright, that uh, increases my confidence considerably. Alright, so now with the M6 here to support us. I'm not afraid to actually start wandering around a little bit, seeing if we can find this Yaga Panther. Now what we could do is join him in capping, but capping is boring. I mean, I understand that's a way to win the map, but... I think, uh, I'd much rather go looking for the enemy. Oh, and there he is! Turn, 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 turn! Boom! Alright! I wonder what is taking our buddies there. So much time to try to get that tight 59. Well, anyway, we're gonna go truck over to his position. In terms of AP shells against that thing, um, yeah, it'll work if we have a flanking shot, or a shot at his rear, but... Colonel shot? Uh, it's just too bouncy. I bounce with guns with higher penetration than this thing against that tank, so... Yeah, HE is gonna be the way to go. Uh, let's see... Unlike some people, I really, uh, I try to avoid saying, you know, don't go for the, pl the cat victory, because that does backfire sometimes. In this circumstance, it probably won't, considering it's just one tank against, uh, well, actually, you know, three tanks against one. Maybe it is a good idea. All right, M6 is going to cap as an insurance policy here, while we see uh, if we can actually take out this lone little uh, Type 59 here, who has three kills, to our two. Alright, so people are piling a lot of hatred on the poor old uh, KB4. He's got two kills, he made his contribution. So what if he's not going down? It's not like he has to. I think a lot of people take this game way too seriously. I mean, <laughs> it's just a game, folks. Just play it and relax. What can you do, though? Alright, so... Let me see. Do we have a target? Do we see enemies? Or is he just hiding because he doesn't want to get killed before the map is over? Alright, it looks like that's what he's doing. Alright, that is a victory. M6 made the wiser decision. Type 59 lives to fight another day. Alright. Wow, oh, we got sharpshooter there. How do we get to, for that? Hit an enemy vehicle ten or more times in a row without missing. Oh, huh, that's cool. Alright, so uh, we did get a decent amount of money here, and we had a lot of fun. Alright, so I would say this has been a pretty good preview of the SU-152 and what it can do. As you can see here, actually, in the research table, I don't really even have the best engine or tracks yet. I do have the best radio. You do eventually uh, get better guns. Um, how they compare versus the default gun, which is just tons of fun, is that they go down to 122 millimeter, so they don't quite pack as much punch per individual shot, but they do fire, like of this one, twice as fast. They have more penetration, and uh, still pretty decent damage, and they're more accurate, and they aim faster. The best gun, which is supposedly tier 8, fires even faster, and is a bit more accurate. So, I mean, it's really a question then of what you want. Uh, if you really want to one-shot weaker tanks, you know, the default gun is the way to go. If you want to do more reliable damage, I guess, against heavier tanks, then the 122 is the way to go. I personally prefer derp guns just because they're so much fun. I mean, you just shoot it and you do massive amounts of damage. And it kind of creates a challenge because you have to hide while you wait for that ridiculous reload. But, hey, what can you do? Either way, I hope everyone enjoyed watching. Uh, I actually do have another tank to show off, but... Uh, because I bought two of them in the latest uh, special where they were half off. This has been the SU-152, though. 
uh, and from Russia with love. Hope everyone's doing good, and uh, I'll put up another video uh, of this along with you know the usual retinue of uh, yeah Baldur's Gate 2 and Skyrim soon. Um, but th uploads have been a bit slow just because we've been a bit busy, but uh, things are going to pick up again soon. Anyway, hope everyone's doing great, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye everybody.